What's going on my reefing fan? Mark here, Fragbox TV. We finally, finally, finally got in these new Neptune skylights. If you're new to the channel and you don't already know, we try to do a video here every single day. Another day another video so go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done that if you don't know what neptune is it's an awesome aquarium controller smart center insurance plan for your tank we're doing a video series on this right now as we speak there's a lot a lot a lot to cover but i'm so excited because they just dropped their new long awaited led light now i want to do an unboxing and set up video of these because one they're awesome and i'm completely in love with that company these ones unfortunately are all pre-sold to somebody here locally but he agreed to let us hold on to them for a couple days just to check them out and talk to you to you about them a little bit this is a big box uh i hadn't thought about this I don't, this store is small if you haven't been here it's not a very big store small footprint lots of products so i'm not 100 percent sure where we're going to stick these neptune's got its corner here that's going to be i guess that's not that's my problem you guys don't want to hear about stocking and boxing issues that's a that's a store owner issue right there a couple really cool features about this light it's 200 watts of raw led power so that makes it one of the strongest leds on the market today it only comes in one size so a lot of other companies come like they have the uh radions are quite popular there's the 30 and the 15 so kind of the half size hydra 64 and 32. this one right now comes in just one size maybe in the future they're going to release a different size but 200 watts of power is crazy you're going to be able to grow whatever you want without even having to think about light as a limiting factor something they did that's quite interesting instead of coming out with their own sort of mounting arms like this is the hydra mounting hms and these are the radeon rms rails over here we're using a pair of xr15 blues i believe along with their double rms rail kit so usually a company comes out with their own sort of mounting options what these guys did is they took they made the light work with i guess one of the most popular mounts out there which is the ecotech rms mount so if you buy the neptune light and you want to mount it on your glass you actually go out and get one of these rms 30 mounts which are pretty good i've never had any one of these fail they're not cheap they're about 150 bucks here in canada so i'm not sure how i feel about that I, I, if they're both black i guess it's going to work one other nice feature about these though you do not need a neptune apex to use it so this is one of their standalone products you can go out and buy the lights without having to have I, you should i think you should have an apex system i love apex i can't say enough good things about this system here about this aquarium controller they have a few other products that are like that their auto top off is one of them the atk is standalone uh, i believe so yeah so you do not need the apex to bar to use their auto top off their refugium light as well is a standalone product so that just means that you can go out you can buy that everything else you need to have an apex controller hooked up to your aquarium in order to um in order to use it i know a lot of people would have liked the trident to be a standalone thing so this measures your calcium alkalinity magnesium automatically monitors and will even talk to their doser to automate dosing of these uh, of liquids in your aquarium to maintain those levels which is mind-blowing it's actually crazy but those really really cool products you do need the full apex controller in order to use they went a different route with these lights which i think was really smart you don't need it you can just go out and buy the light hook it up above your tank now i have two spots where i think we could use it because most of the tanks here in the store are already running a light and it is quite large so i don't think it's going to work on a nano tank oh i should talk about the spread actually they claim that you can do 36 by 24 which is nuts that's like that's some serious serious spread so one of these lights 36 inches across um just to get an idea like this is a 36 inch tank and we had to go quite high here with the radions in order to get that sort of coverage so that we wouldn't go broke we're running 10 of them so they are quite expensive um, they're about a thousand bucks a light but in order to get really good coverage and we get about a par of like 100 to 150 throughout the whole tank we had to go almost uh yeah like 30 28 or 30 inches above the tank so you won't have to do that with these because they've been designed to just spread light price point here in canada they're about on par with the radions i think they're 20 bucks left so uh don't quote me on it because we literally just got them in i think they're 1130 so just slightly slightly less than the radion 
a little bit more than the Hydra 64. So what I was saying is two spots. We're gonna set up a new system here when somebody takes home this awesome deal of an aquarium. This will be gone. And I wanna set up, we're talking about doing a lagoon tank. So a shallow 25 from Innovative Marine with some mangroves and very cool, weird cleanup crew and fish. Not your traditional, you know, showy, nice reef tank full of beautiful corals. Like we have a few of those in the tank. This one's coming along. We have this nice 90 gallon display tank here. The reefer, the reefer 250 is looking really good. Packed with coral, it's pretty much full. Tia's Evo over here, simply awesome. You know, just like crazy coral, crazy display tanks. They all look really good. So we were thinking maybe to do something a little bit different that looks a little more natural. Mangroves kind of coming up the middle and then just different fish. We like garden eels. We're going to mix it up. Let me know what you think in the comments below. That's one spot we thought we were going to use them. If not, then I'm thinking downstairs in the basement as part of our new frag tank extension build. But I got to set one up somewhere. I'm just undecided. I don't want to set it up and then move it. I, next batch of lights that come in, two of them for sure are going to get opened up. That's it for today's video, guys. I just really wanted to share these with you. So exciting. Anytime a new light like this gets dropped, it's exciting. It's good for the industry, creates competition. And, and I think it keeps these companies kind of on their toes by having different companies come out with like monster lights, like something like this. It's a really big new player into the LED lighting game and we love to see it. It's exciting and it doesn't happen very often. This is big news in terms of aquarium equipment, but that's it for today's video. If you like the content, please subscribe. We strive to do a video every single day here at Fragbox TV. Thanks for watching this episode.